welcome back to Gapy's Garden. It's time for another fig update. So this is the only cutting I still have in a cup. This one took a really long time to root. This is one of the, the cuttings that I got from Ivy Organics. It was kind of stalled for leaf growth for quite a while. Like it's, I think, been in here for three or four months now. Um, but it's actually looking pretty good now. We've got quite a few new roots that are coming out. So looking really good. I did have a little bit of a problem with some green um, fungus or moss or whatever growing kind of along the top of the, the cup due to, I think, too much moisture and sun hitting it. So it's looking a little bit better now. I tried scraping off um, that stuff. So it's looking really good. We've got quite a few new leaves coming out since the update I posted last month. Um, I did lose one of them. I had three of these, and this is the the one that's looking the best. I tossed one of them out, but we do have one still in the square pot. It hasn't really put out any new leaf growth, so I'm not sure if that one's going to make it or not. So I'm just going to keep it in here for a little longer. I, since it's in this black pot, I can't see the roots, so I don't know how the root development is going on there. But this one is looking pretty promising. So this is the Marseille Black VS, by the way, which is supposed to be a pretty hard one to root, but these are pretty thick cuttings and it seems to have better luck um, rooting thick cuttings than the smaller ones. So now let's go take a look at the ones I have in containers. So here are the two Burgess Sot greasy cuttings that I started. And these are babies off of this bigger plant over here. So these guys are doing really well. This was a pretty successful um, rooting here. So we've got one here and one here. Both of these came off of the same cutting that I just cut in half and rooted. And these were rooted in just perlite and vermiculite, which is kind of a, I wasn't sure how well that would work, but that was a recommendation by Ivy Organics and it worked pretty well. So I'm definitely gonna try that again in the future. And we have lots of new leaf growth. Some of the leaves are curling up a little bit. I'm not sure why, um, but that's only happening on this one. The other one is doing really well. Both are getting out lots of new leaf growth. And then the parent is here. This is in a much larger self-watering plant planter, and it's got quite a few Braba figs on it that are looking really nice. Um, we've got, I think, four three or four figs on there. And this is the only fig I have that's got Braba on it, I think. Um, the rest is all main crop figs. So the Braba, Braba figs grow on last year's growth. So you can see how it's darker here and the top is more green. So the green is the newer growth from this year and the darker part of the stem is last year's growth. And then let's take a look at this other small one. This is the Nero. 600M that I won on our figs forum and it's doing really well. I did repot it from a tree pot into this, I think it's a 1.5 gallon container. Um, there's no figs on it. This was just rooted, I think, either late last year or early this year, but it is putting out lots of new growth, so it's doing really well. And then the other one that I started from a cutting this year, let's move over here. This one is the Desert King. And it's actually, I guess this one does have one Braba fig on it. I'm not sure if it's going to mature or not because this is, this cutting was just started in January. But we've got a cutting or a fig right, right there, just one. Um, so I decided to leave it on there just to see if it would stay or not. But I don't, I don't expect that will reach maturity at such a young stage. And then let's go back here. This is my other one in a self-watering container. This one is the Figo Preto, and we do have some little baby figs growing on this one. So they're looking really nice. So I'm excited. This is supposed to be a really, really tasty fig. So I'm really excited to see how that one does. And let's move over here. This one is the Olympian. And we've got, there's, I think, three kind of main branches on this one and we've got some little baby figs coming out on a couple of the branches. You can see they're on the new growth. 
So they're going to be the main crap figs. And next to that we have, uh, let's see, let's check these tags. This one is the Kathleen's Black. This one's a little bit shorter. I'm not sure if it's a, I think it's about as old as some of these other ones. Um, but it's a little bit shorter, bushier than the others. And we've also got some little baby figs growing out on that one as well. Looking really well and we've got, I did top a few of these figs. So it had this really low branch coming out almost at the soil level and I don't really want that branch there. So I just cut the tip off of the, or just pinched it off so that um, it won't take out energy from the rest of the, the branches that I do want to keep. So in the winter time when this is dormant, I'm going to just cut that branch off. Um, so that should help the tree out and help its form. And then next we have, this one is the Ronde de Bordeaux. This is the tallest of the fig trees and it's got like four main branches and each branch has, well, so most of the branches have a few mini branches coming out of the top. So we've got two branches there and it's just kind of, kind of a crazy tree. So I'm thinking there's actually two, you can see there's two branches coming out of the ground. I'm thinking about taking this one on the left and doing an air layer on that one. And an air layer is when you, you basically scar the branch here at some point and then wrap it with soil and then it fills the roots grow within that and then you can just cut that off and have a new tree. So that's one way to oh, just notice there's a it's like a weasel or something over there. I don't know if you could see it. Anyways, weasels are bad so I'm not too happy to see that. Anyways, um, we do have some little figlets forming on a lot of the branches over here. So it's looking really, really good. And let's see, we have the, this one is the Tacoma Violet. And this one has a lot of figs on it as well. I think we've got four, maybe three or four little figs on there. Looking really good. Lots of new growth coming out the top. And this one just has one main stem right now, but it looks like it's starting to put off another stem here on the top. And these are all, I think that covers all of the container figs. So I've got one fig in ground. Let's go take a look at it. So here is the Laterula. This is the only in-ground fig I have right now. I'll be planting probably two other figs in um, next spring or over the winter in ground. But right now this is the only one and it looks like we are maybe just starting to get some little figlets forming on this one. This is probably the most um, smallest of the figs that I have as far as the fig growth. So I'm not sure if those will get have time to mature or not. Um, but we'll have to wait and find out. Might have to wait for next year to get figs off of this guy. It's still a pretty small tree and we've got just two branches on that guy but lots of new leaf growth on top so it's looking really good. Um, pretty impressed with all my figs so far and I think that's about it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.